All right, we back. It's the Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building in uh, Lions Camp. Uh, officially kicked off today. All the veterans reported. The rookies reported last Thursday. It's your boy CJ Goodfell. We got some news. I'm going to link this article into the description uh, so you know that it's real or trill. Okay. And Frank Ragnar will remain at guard right now. They're going to play him at guard. And uh, Jeff Davison, <clears throat> the Lions' new offensive uh, <clears throat> line coach, excuse me, Said that uh, he's, you know, said that's where uh, Frank is going to play. And, you know, famously, Frank is known on his channel as Frank Who Gives a Fuck, okay? We call him Frank Who Gives a Fuck because when he was drafted, I overreacted um, and got mad because they took this center. But ultimately, this, when they picked Kerryon Johnson, and I actually sat back and meditated on it, I ultimately thought it was a great pick. Know, you know, knowing his background and, and, and knowing how good he was and knowing that Travis Frederick for the Dallas Cowboys. Went around the same time in the draft, and he's one of the best centers in the league. So, uh, like I said, man, I don't have an issue with uh, saying I'm wrong. Um, I've been through that pride thing uh, away a long time ago, and I learned that through life. But, um, you know, he's going to play center. And he's, you know, and Davidson was noncommittal, according to the article, about what would be his long-term position with the Lions. He said they're looking for the, the, the guys that fit their system in the best position they at. And that's cool, man. I'm all right with him starting that guard, man, for right now. <clears throat> Center is, is a lot to pick up. Um, line audibles, you know, all that stuff, man. Making sure you're the anchor of the offensive line. That's, it's been a big, big problem for the Lions forever, to be honest. Um, seriously, it's been a problem. Dominic Riola was, was the main reason the Lions could never run. And when he put on weight and got muscular later in his career, the Lions had the best running season to date. Um, since then... You know, Raiola sucked. He retired um, the, the next year. Then Travis Swanson has just been uh, horrific. And now Graham Glasgow is going to get his shot at starting at center. But I think, you know, ultimately Frank is going to slide to center. But we'll see. We'll see. If he plays good at guard, he at guard. But I think ultimately he's going to be a center. And the Lions have, you know, really drafted some two two walls, you know, <laughs> big walls at offensive tackle. Now, Frank Ragnow and Taylor Decker, Bob Quinn in particular, picking those two. Those were excellent picks. Look how look how you know Frank Ragnar looks. He's three hundred pounds, but he wears his weight well. He's a solid wall. Taylor Decker is in the same shape. Solid wall. Big, athletic, strong as oak tree offensive linemen that are not fat, sloppy. They just very, very solid offensive linemen and can move well. And I like those two picks. You know, I like what he, what he wants out of his offensive linemen. And let's hope that Frank gets it together at guard. Eventually, I think he's gonna slide over to center, man. I think it will happen. It may happen in camp, you know. But Graham Glasgow is an experienced guy. The Lions really want to do well early. And like they said, they pr their process isn't to win now. Their process is to set this team up to win later. So they won't reach in free agency if you didn't notice. They won't reach. They won't go find a star just to, you know, plug it up and make it like they're winning now. They want to build this thing right. And how do you build things that are right? In a lot of different sports, you build it through the draft. You build it with youth. You know, you build the base of youth. And that's how Seattle became one of the youngest teams to make it to the Super Bowl. You build it through the draft, you build it through youth, and you build it. And one thing Seattle messed up, they didn't build it with the system, you know. And now, a plug-and-play system, man, that's what New England is known for. You know, drafting well, developing talent, and putting and having a system to plug and play. Offense and defense, and that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate goal for the uh, Bob Quinn, Matt Patricia, and the Lions, is to be able to have a system, build on young players, and plug and play. And um, the out, go, out goes the old, the in comes the new, you know, and that's what it is, plug and play and with a system. And that's, you know, that's what they need to build on because that's how you build longevity through this league. But um, I'm, I'm cool with Frank Ragnar at, at guard right now. Ultimately, I think he will be the center. He's just too good. And I think he may dominate that guard so good in camp or at some point in the season and they slide him over the center. So um, I just, you know, right now it's no overreaction. Um, he a rookie and let him learn. And, um, we, you know, we're just fortunate to have a guy like Graham Glasgow to be able to play center and anchor. And I wonder why they didn't slide him to center earlier. But I heard he graded out very, very well as a center for what I heard. But, you know, it is what it is. Motor City Sports Talk. We're going to come back with a late night video a little bit later, man. And um, I appreciate everybody, man, for sharing the videos and, and subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you know exactly when I drop heat. And um, I appreciate it, man, because we almost have 1,400 subscribers and well under a year, man. I appreciate it, man. I didn't know it was going to grow this flat fast. And we took some months off. I appreciate it. Keep spreading the word. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm going to start working on those platforms as the season approach. We gone.